Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this quick video I'm going to share with you a small tool that I made that might save you some time and trouble in case you need to change the orientation of your 4-in-1 ESC. About two and a half years ago I released a small tutorial that shows how it's done, however things changed a little bit when Betaflight 4 was released and anyway I think that using my tool is a little bit easier. Now let me show you how to use it. First head over to remap.today, connect your flight controller to your computer, Head over to Betaflight, hit connect, head over to the CLI tab, and type dump, and press enter. Now I recommend to save the results to a file so you have a reference in case things go wrong. Copy these values to the clipboard, go back to the Betaflight motor remap helper, paste the CLI dump values over here, hit continue, and now you can select the new orientation of your 4 in 1 ESC. Rotating the ESC is done by clicking the image, and if you'd like, you can also flip it. So you can see now, for example, it was flipped to this position. So let's say we want to flip the ESC. So Moto 1 is going to be soldered to these pads, Moto 2 to these ones, and etc. Press continue. And now these are the new values that you need to paste in the CLI in order to adjust the ESC orientation. Now we can hit Copy values to clipboard, go back to the CLI, paste the values. We need to type save, press enter, and now these values were saved. Please keep in mind two things. First of all, the tool is based on the default values of the flight controller. And second of all, it doesn't change the orientation of the flight controller, which means that if you are going to change the orientation of the flight controller along with the AC, you will need to adjust it as well. So that's going to be it for this quick tutorial, and of course, if you encountered any bug or you have any suggestions for improvement, please let me know in the comments section down below. As always, I would like to thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful, and if you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos, and goodbye.